Classification of salts. Generally, salts are classified into three types. One is a simple salt, mixed salt, molecular or addition salt. So, first one is simple salt. It contains the simple cation and anion. The best example is sodium chloride, table salt. So, it contains sodium cation, chloride anion. Sodium cation, chloride anion. The best example of simple salt is table salt. So, furtherly it is classified into several types. One is acidic salt, basic salt, neutral salt. So, sodium chloride is an example of a neutral salt which came from strong acid and strong base. Second one is mixed salt. It contains more than one acidic or basic radicals. It is called a mixed salt. The best example is sodium potassium carbonate. Sodium potassium carbonate. Another second example is Calcium oxychloride. Calcium oxychloride. We know that. The calcium oxychloride is bleaching powder. So, third salt are molecular or addition salt. Molecular or addition salts furtherly classified into two types. One is a double salt. Second one is complex salts. One is a double salt. Second one is complex salt. So, double salts is nothing but it is formed by the union of two simple salts. It is formed by the union of Two simple salts. The best example is carnalite, potassium, sodalum, more salt. So simply, carnalite is nothing but KCl, MgCl2, 6H2O. This is called a carnalite. So alums are best classification of double salts. So second one is complex salts. Complex salts, which on dissociation it gives one simple ion and another complex ion. It gives one simple ion. And another complex ion. So, generally, potassium ferric cyanide or potassium ferrocyanide is the best example of complex salts. Another example is nothing but cobalt NH3 six times Cl3. It contains cobalt NH3 six plus three, three chloride ions. So, it is complex, it is a simple ion. Salts. When dissolved in water, these salts dissociates into completely. These salts dissociates completely and it gives all the constituents present on it. So simply, so we, we are previously discussed the double salt formed by the union of two simple salts. For example, KCl plus MgCl2 in presence of 6 moles of water, it gives KCl, MgCl2. 6H2O. This is nothing but carnalite which came from potassium chloride is a simple salt, MgCl2 is also a simple salt. And the second example is K2SO4 plus Al2SO4 taken thrice, 24 water molecule. It gives K2SO4, Al2. SO4 taking thrice into 24 H2 is nothing but potassium. So, which came from potassium sulfate, aluminum sulfate, 24 water molecule, it gives a potassium. So, the furtherly, the molar conductivity of uh, such a solutions, it gives all the ions present on it. It gives all the ions molar conductance present on it. For example, it furtherly dissociated into two moles of potassium ions. When it is hydrolyzed, it furtherly dissociated into two moles of potassium ions, four moles of sulfate ions, two moles of Al plus three ions. So it shown all the all these cations and anions molar conductance. That then that's why these salts are called double salts. Molecular or addition salts are two types. One is double salt, another one is complex salts. Double salts discussed earlier. Now it is coordination compounds are nothing but complex salts. So how it is complex? So just we we'll discuss that simply. The K4, Fe, Cn6 times. It is a salt, which is nothing but complex salt. When it is hydrolyzed, it gives Four moles of a potassium cation and a complex ion. So here, four moles of potassium cations and one is 
కాంప్లెక్స్ అయ్యాలి ఎఫ్ ఈ సిఎన్ సిక్స్ టైమ్స్ ద ఓవరాల్ నెట్ ఛార్జ్ ఈజ్ మైనస్ ఫోర్ ఓవరాల్ నెట్ ఛార్జ్ ఆన్ ది కోఆర్డినేషన్ స్పియర్ ఈజ్ మైనస్ ఫోర్ సో ఇట్ ఈస్ ది సింపుల్ సాల్ట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కాంప్లెక్స్ సాల్ట్ కాంప్లెక్స్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ది కాంబినేషన్ ఆఫ్ మోర్ దాన్ వన్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఆర్ కన్స్టిట్యూంట్స్ సో సింప్లీ ఇట్ ఈస్ నోన్ యాజ్ ఎ కాంప్లెక్స్ సో in case of double salts it gives all the ion molar conductance but in case of complex compounds it does not gives the p plus the p plus 2 molar conductance as well as cn minus molar conductance these two molar conductance not shown by the complex not shown by the complex that's why it is called complex compounds that's why it is called complex compounds complex compounds generally appears four types it appears four types first one is cation complex second one is anion complex third one is both cation and anion as a complex fourth one is neutral complex so in generally cation complex is nothing but it carried by the cation so generally cobalt nh3 six times plus 3 it it carried by the cation so which is present in cobalt nh3 six times cl3 so second one is anion complex the best example of anion complex is fe cn6 times the overall net charge is minus 4 it carried by the negative charge it carried by the negative charge it is present in it the k4 fe cn6 times so third one is both cation and anion as a complex for example platinum pyridine four times platinum cl four times so it is a platinum tetra pyridine plus 2 here platinum cl4 times minus 2 the fourth one is neutral complex it does not have it, it does not carried by the any charge the best example is metal carbonyl ne n i co4 times fe co5 times these are the neutral complexes these are the neutral complexes well terminology in coordination complex like this so the best representation of a complex compounds so it is a special representation generally simple cells are represented in simple manner like a sodium chloride potassium sulfate or potassium chloride whatever it may be they are represented in their atomic symbols only but in case it is enclosed in square bracket it is enclosed in square bracket how it is enclosed what are the species present on the complex compounds we discussed the detail so the first one is in square bracket it having a transition metal element a transition metal elements is known as central metal atom central metal atom so the central metal atom which which coordinated by the several types of ligands or more ligands those are called ligands so the total number of atoms are connected to the central metal atom is known as coordination number the total things are present in the coordination sphere is called coordination entity coordination entity the left and the right side of the coordination sphere the left and the right side of the coordination sphere is known as ionization sphere ionization sphere the overall charge carried by the central metal atom the overall charge carried by the central metal atom is known as oxidation state oxidation state so these are the basic terminology which are involved in the coordination complexes so the first one is central metal atom the second one is ligands the third one is coordination number based on the coordination number we we detailedly discussed the 
Coordination polyhedron. Coordination polyhedron is nothing but the shapes of the complex. Coordination polyhedron. The fifth one is coordination entity. Coordination entity. The sixth one is oxidation state. The seventh one is homoelectric and heteroelectric complex. Heteroelectric complexes. Terminology. The first one is central metal atom. In complex, K4, Fe, Cn6 times. In complex, a transitional metal element which is binded by the more number of ligands is known as central metal atom. Is known as a central metal atom. So, the definition of central metal atom is which is coordinated by the more number of ligands. Which is coordinated by the more number of ligands. So, the second one is ligands. Second one is ligands. So, ligands are several, it is classified into several types like a monodentate, polydentate. We discussed the next lecture. We discussed about the classification of ligands in next lecture. So, the general definition of ligands is nothing but the negatively charged species or neutral charged species, they donate their pair of electrons to the central metal atom. They donate they will pair off electrons to the central metal atom. So generally, cyanide anion having two lone pair of two electrons in negative charge, metal Fp plus 2 having so many vacant orbitals. So the two electrons on the negative negative charge which donates the central metal atom. So generally, this type of bonding is nothing but a coordinate covalent bond. Coordinate covalent bond. The best example is ammonia. It having one lone pair of electrons and boring it having vacant orbital. So the lone pair of electrons donate their pair of electrons to the vacant orbital is known as coordinate covalent bond. Is known as coordinate covalent bond. So in all the complex compounds, it having coordinate covalent bond. It having coordinate covalent bond between the ligand and the central metal atom. Ligand and central metal atom. This is the general terminology of ligands. Now, the third one is coordination number. The third one is coordination number. So, the coordination number, after this was the coordination polyhedron. So, the fourth one is coordination polyhedron. Coordination polyhedron. So, generally, based on the number of ligands, present in the complex is shown by the coordination polyhedron. So generally, this, uh, the best coordination polyhedrons are octahedron. The ligand, 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 ligand. So this is the octahedral complex. Octahedron and ligand, ligand, ligand. It is a tetrahedron. And another one is square planar. And several types of polyhedrons are present, but these three are generally used in our coordination chemistry. So now the coordination number is nothing but the total number of atoms in ligands. Listen carefully. The total number of atoms in ligands which are connected to the central metal atom is known as coordination number. So, the best example is NiCl4 times Cl4 minus 2, which is uh, coordinated by, like this, like a tetrahedron manner, a tetrahedron manner. So, now the four chlorine atoms which are connected to the central metal atom, which are connected to the central metal nickel atom, now the coordination number is 4. The coordination number is 4. Generally, K4, Fe, Cn6 times, it having 6 cyanide ions, there are 6 cyanide ions coordinated like this. Now here, 
six atoms connected to the central metal atom. Central metal atom. So that's why here coordination number is six. Here polyhedron is octahedron manner. Octahedron manner. So now the fifth one is coordination entity. Coordination entity. The total coordination. Uh, sorry, the central metal atom. The total number of ligands. The total entity which is enclosed in the square bracket is called coordination entity. Like a Fe, Cn six times. This is coordination entity. The total number of ligands as well as the central metal atom which are enclosed in square bracket is called coordination entity. Coordination entity. Now the sixth one is oxidation state. The sixth one is oxidation state. So generally, oxidation state is very useful and helpful to the future coordination chemistry. So we discussed in uh, clearly further further lectures. So the calculation of oxidation state in with no, no, no nine complex K4 Fe Cn six times. So let us the the charge of the potassium is is plus one. The charge of cyanide anion is minus one. We don't know the total charge present on the metal iron. So that, that that's why let us consider it is X. So now four moles of potassium. So potassium is nothing but a plus one charge, and the, the oxidation state the oxidation state of iron is unknown. That's why it is assumed as X plus six moles of cyanide ions, which is nothing but a minus one, which all are equal to the total charge present over there. So that's why it is equal to the zero. Now four plus x minus six is equal to zero. Now x minus two is equal to zero. X is equal to plus two. So the overall oxidation state of iron is plus two, which is very useful for our IUPAC nomenclature. IUPAC nomenclature. Now the seventh one is homoleptic and heteroleptic complexes. The seventh one is homoleptic and heteroleptic complexes. So generally, a complex having similar type of ligands. So here, six ligands are same. That's why those complexes are called homoleptic complexes. Homoleptic complexes. So another another manner, K four, F E C N six times, C N five times, N O. Here. Two types of ligands are there, and more than more than one type of ligands are present in a complex. That is said to be heteroleptic complexes. Heteroleptic complexes. So these are the basic terminology which is involved in the coordination chemistry. Coordination chemistry.